Hey, what's up, you guys? Mike Nardi here. All right, so this YouTube channel has been around for, you know, coming up on two years. We're getting more people following and joining this community by the day. And uh, just a lot more people are interested in selling on Fiverr, which is awesome. So I thought it would be good to take an opportunity, put it a really quick video, this video, to talk about some frequently asked questions that I'm getting a lot via email and in the comment section. So I'm gonna rapid fire through these frequently asked questions, giving you the question people are asking, my answer, and if you have any questions that were not addressed in this video, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them in a future video. So let's get right into it. All right, so question number one, what is Fiverr? So generally, Fiverr is an online marketplace that connects freelancers or people looking to sell a skill or a service to businesses and individuals that need that particular service. Fiverr is a place where if you have free time and a skill that can offer value to people, you can turn that skill and that free time into extra cash. It's awesome. The number two frequently asked question that we're addressing in this video is, what should I sell on Fiverr? You know, if you're new to Fiverr and you're trying to think of things that you can sell on Fiverr and you don't know what that thing might be, that's your step number one. You need to figure out what that thing is. And when you're deciding what that thing is, it's a really strong belief of mine that you need to be focused on things where you can offer real value to people, real value. If you wanna sell something to someone, I need you to think about it, or I want you to think about it and say, hey, will this thing that I'm selling help this person with whatever they need help with? Will it make their life easier? Will it help them accomplish their goal? Will it provide them value? If you can think of something that will provide people value, you're off to a great start. So when you're thinking about what you should sell on Fiverr, think about things you might already be good at or things that you might be willing to get good at through practice and learning, and think about whether those things can offer value to people. If it checks that value box and it's something you're good at or you're willing to get good at or you wanna get good at, you should consider selling that on Fiverr. You'll be off to a great start. All right, the third frequently asked question, and this is one that I get a lot, it's is Fiverr too saturated? The short answer I'm gonna give you is no, Fiverr's not too saturated. The long answer I'm gonna give you is I challenge you to ask yourself why you're asking that question. You see, in my opinion, whenever I hear someone ask whether or not Fiverr is too saturated, I don't think they're actually concerned with it being too saturated because being concerned with a marketplace to make money being saturated to me means nothing because every marketplace that presents an opportunity to make money is probably saturated, right? It's not easy to compete with other people doing what you're doing. That's just the nature of business, right? But instead, you know, are you asking if it's too saturated because that's some sort of internal objection you have or you're creating for yourself that's gonna stop you from starting on Fiverr? I'll be honest, based on what I hear from a lot of people, it often is, right? People say, oh, it's too saturated, I'm not gonna do it, or if I don't succeed, it's because it was too saturated. I'm sorry to tell you, that's not the reason. Fiverr is tough, yeah. Are there a lot of people on Fiverr? Yeah, but are there a lot of people doing anything in the world? Yeah, any channel or marketplace that presents an opportunity to make money is going to get found out, people are gonna hear about it, and there's gonna be a lot of people trying to leverage it. So the question shouldn't be whether or not Fiverr is too saturated. The question should be, what can I do to separate myself from the pack, to be a competitor, and to succeed in this market where there are a lot of other Fiverr sellers? So I know that's a long answer, but it'll help you out, and I hope it helps you out. So let me know what you think about that one in the comments section. The fourth frequently asked question I get is, is Fiverr better than Upwork? Okay. so. I've only briefly explored Upwork, but I put out two videos about my opinions on whether or not Fiverr or Upwork are better. I think Fiverr is the better platform based on the pricing structure, how buyers and sellers interact, and just I generally think it's gonna be the winner in the long run when it comes to the, these types of gig, gig marketplaces. But what I will say is use both. Use whichever you like the best. Test them both out and go with the one that works best for you, your skills, and your workflow. They're both massive, huge, awesome companies, and they both present a great opportunity for us to make money online. That's my answer. All right, so four FAQs, uh, frequently asked questions for new Fiverr sellers. If you're someone looking to make money on Fiverr, let me know if this video was helpful. If there are any other questions you have, leave them in the comments. I'll address them in a future video. So until next time, cheers.